So guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be chatting about this 81 rated Ben Yedder card. This guy has been an incredibly popular starter striker option for a couple of FIFAs now. And in today's video, we're going to discuss if he's worth picking up in FIFA 19. Spoiler alert, he's worth it. He is 100% worth it. Anyway, before we get into this player review, if you could leave a like on this video, that would be much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And if you fancy it, leave a comment on this video too, because, you know, why not? Anyway, let's chat about Ben Yedder's in-game stats. He has some ridiculously good-looking dribbling attributes, considering he's only 81 rated. This guy, when on full chem, has 96 agility, 88 ball control, and 89 in-game dribbling. That's mad for a non-inform. It's also worth mentioning there are a couple of attributes on this page which, you know, aren't exactly appealing. 69 stamina and 57 strength. Yeah, they're not particularly great attributes. Anyway, let's get into some in-game action and chat about how Bagneda performs in matches. And I've got to be honest with you guys, he was amazing for me. I have really enjoyed using him. He just kept scoring game after game. Like he was just always involved in attacks. He was really fun to use. His pace is good. It seems in FIFA 19 that like no one has breakaway pace. But that information aside, Ben Yedder felt quick enough in my opinion. On the ball, he's class. He's quick with the ball at his feet. He's agile, easy to manoeuvre, great for skill moves. And he does have a very good first touch as well. His off the ball movement was brilliant. You'll see in the background he's always active. Those high high work rates keep this guy moving all game long, which for the first half is brilliant. But as we know, his stamina isn't great. And by the second half, he's normally pretty fatigued. So do keep an eye on his stamina if you do use this guy. Ben Yedder's passing for an attacker was acceptable. Like with most forwards, the short passing is good enough. But the long passing and through balls are, you know, not too great. It's also worth mentioning again that Ben Yedder does have a 5 star weak foot, which obviously does help aid with his distribution. Physically, we've already spoken about his poor stamina. Now let's chat about his poor strength, which, as we already know, isn't great. He's got 57 strength. He is going to get shoved off the ball easily by tougher defenders and midfielders. Fortunately, though, he has a really first rate balance stat, so he rarely goes to the ground. Although he will be knocked off the ball, he'll stay on his feet most of the time and that allows him to have a go at reclaiming the ball. Ben Yedder's also got a pretty solid jumping stat, so despite being 5'7", he is able to battle aerially. He's not going to have regular success against tall, strong centre-backs, but he can definitely be a problem for full and wing backs. Now let's move on and chat about the best thing about this card, the shooting. This guy is ridiculously clinical. His shot power in game, I thought was miles better than his stats suggest. And his finesse shots, they're just mad. He stays composed when under pressure and with him having a 5 star weak foot, he can pretty much take off shots from any angle. His goal scoring ability overall was top draw. It really impressed me that an 81 rated card could be so clinical. So in summary, Ben Yedder's class. He does not perform like an 81 rated card at all. Now I know some people will get annoyed with this guy due to his low strength, but ironically, if you can play to his actual strengths, you'll really enjoy this card. He's brilliant with possession and, as you've seen, clinical in front of goal. He is 100% worth picking up in my opinion, and I think in terms of goal scoring ability, he's one of the best finishers you can buy for less than 10k, so I really do recommend this guy. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the 81 rated Ben Yedder. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to leave a like on it. Comment below your thoughts on this card. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.